Farm some guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are back having a look at another new map coming out for FS22. This time we are taking a look at Moss Valley, which is based in the north of England. This is from VR Modding, and it's pretty cool. There's some nice little touches in this. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight in and have a little bit of a nosy around. This is where you spawn when you start out. I've started in uh, new player mode, so we'll just wander up here. We'll follow the path, a bit of a farmhouse down here. Uh, and then we'll head up to the road here. As you can probably already tell, it is quite a um, hilly map. Lots and lots of contours here. Um, Sheffield, north of England, is kind of uh, built on a lot of hills, so... Uh, that makes a lot of sense. There we go. Povey Farm here, and this is quintessentially British. I mean, the yards are extremely tight. It is uh, a real-life location. Um, the farm is actually called Moss Valley Fine Meats, um, and this is real. So um, it's nice to see, even though it's tight, and I know some of you don't like a tight farmyard, um, but... This is exactly what we have to deal with sometimes in the UK. We have got equipment here. I will run through that because we're in uh, new farmer mode uh, in a little while. But um, there's lots of equipment lying around. So we've got some storage for uh, tools and implements there. We have a grain bin up here. We've got lots of sheds. And now you can see how narrow it is and how steep it is here, which is uh, which is really cool. So, um, But lots and lots of sheds and buildings here, including some older stuff here. Again, more storage here for your telehandler, but again, more traditional building storage. And something that's, I think, common in the UK is having these older buildings that have been around probably since the turn of the century, which are kind of not fit for purpose anymore because machinery and vehicles and things have grown so much in size, but um, they just don't get knocked down. Usually, they some of them can be protected as well, so uh, you've got to be mindful of how you use your farm um, and uh, not get rid of some of those old buildings. They tend to be used for storage and things like that. Um, but there we go. There's the drive into the farm. So you've got that access up there, but you've also got this one here and also through here. Now let's have a look at all these sheds. I think it's a bit of a clue in the name of the farm, Moss Valley Fine Meats. Uh, but there are a lot of animal buildings here. So there you go, a little dairy there for milking your cows. We have got, um, I think these are chickens, yes. We've got one chicken coop here, um, and then we have a silo here. There's your load point, and round here, tucked in this little shed. So, like I said, super tight for getting vehicles in and out. Behind the trailer there, that's where you would unload into the silo as well. Um, we have also got up here, just inside this shed, we've got a combine hiding in here, I think. But again, more storage here. So there's the combine. The head around this side. So lots of uh, kind of multi-purpose sheds, if you will. There's the header. Uh, lots of uh, bits and pieces, as we'll see in a little while, uh, of things lying around. This is, I'm not sure if it's a global issue, but UK farms are dumping ground for rubbish everywhere. Uh, they're really bad for it. Uh, so yes, piles of rubble like this, broken down old machinery. The reason being... One day you might need a part off that, so there's no point in getting rid of it. Um, but yes, like old IBCs lying about there and things like that. It's a very British thing, and I'm sure happens other, where in, uh, other places in the world too. 
Right, let's keep heading around because there are some more animal uh, sheds down here. I'm guessing um, because there's so many animal sheds, due to the fact that they're, they're a meat producing farm, and we'll have a look at one of the productions in a little while as well. So let's just go in here. I think this is pigs first. Yep, pigs in there. And then we have got chickens in here. Now what I like here, you've got two sheds, same shed, but actually uh, the interiors are different depending on what animals you've got. So there's your chickens. And here is your third pig shed, like so. And uh, I was just noting there, as I walked over here, you can see the undulations. You can see the way it drops off. Now over here is your valley. Um, I'm guessing that's named after Moss Valley. Uh, and we'll fly over that in a little bit and you can see some of the detail and the texturing done in there. It's very nice, very nicely done indeed. Um, a bit overgrown here. I think I'd get the uh, I could get the mower in here and tidy things up a little bit. But let's wander around here because we've got some more sheds just here um, with equipment in. So there you go, there's uh, cow sheds where you'd feed your cows up from the uh, milking parlor up there that we just saw. And then we've got some storage sheds here, this nice stepped shed. So you've got uh, a, an upper layer here, a very narrow, steep uh, path down. And then you've got more equipment in here that you can choose as well. Now, before I go any further, I'm just gonna read a few things out uh, that VR Modding sent me to let you know about. Um, many custom models in here, as you've already seen with some of those sheds. He's put the textures in from Bullet Bill for wheat, barley, canola, and oat, which are fantastic and really kind of boost the quality of the uh, the finish of those uh, textures for those uh, crops. Uh, Benji FS's maize textures as well, which are fantastic. Um, He's made new textures for every single ground texture as well, so cultivated, seeded, and I was just doing a little bit of testing before I started recording here, and there's the new cultivated texture, which I think looks absolutely tremendous. Uh, so I really like that. Um, new and unique PDA, which we'll jump into in a little bit and have a look at the fields. Uh, UK license plates, of course. Um, we have a custom shop UI, which is very cool. I do like that. And then uh, multiple selling points all around the map. We've got multi-terrain angle as well for PC. Seasonal hedges as well, which is a nice touch. I do like that. Uh, custom collectibles, uh, which are hand tools. And if we see one, we'll show you them. Um, and lots more on top of that. So uh, a really detailed map with some really nice touches. Uh, and on that note, let's just jump into the PDA and give you a little bit more of a feel for the map. So there it is, and uh, we are standing just down here. This is the main farm here. Quite a nice map in terms of if you want to jump in and just start a farm and get going, you've got that option. But equally, if you want to build something from scratch, there's a couple of places where I think you could do that very nicely indeed. Um, as you can see, we have got quite a lot of fields, as you can see. I think we go up to 82 in total. Uh, so some nice choices, some nice big ones. Uh, as you can see there, 20, 21, 54 there, I think, is the biggest on the map. Uh, let's just see what that's worth price-wise. Only 381,000, so price-wise, they're pretty good as well. Looks like you own the map from the off the border of the map or the or the non-field uh, non parts of the map already, which is great. Lots of trees there in the valley as well, and as you can see, he's based this on a real Google Maps satellite picture as well so you can see how it fits in to reality in the real world as well which is great i love that i always love a map that's based on a real place there's just something nice about it right so what we're going to do we'll have a little bit of a drive around now we've seen this farm uh, we'll head up here we'll go and have a look at the shop and some of the sell points up here um we'll loop around the top and then we'll head back down over here into this bottom corner and then we'll, we'll try and finish off up here somewhere uh, and give you a feel for what's going on on this map. But um, so far, I'm quite taken with this. I really am. Right, we'll take this Massey, as I don't seem to have a pickup in my uh, in my vehicles. So let's roll out of here. Let's head to the road this way. And we'll hang a right, and we'll head up here. But again, really nice views across the valley. Uh, the border of the map, I have to say, is really nicely done. It makes you feel like you're in a much bigger uh, map than a 2X. It's just this, that continuity, and it doesn't feel like you fall off the edge of the map when you get there. So that's really, really nice. Um, but yes, this is um, 
This is really nicely put together. A lot of thought's gone into the detail and the landscaping, which I really like. So that was the first main farm, uh, but I did say there was a second uh, place here. A lot smaller, but it does give you the opportunity to have a second farm, should you wish. But let's just pull in here, like so, and I'll jump out. This is Hazelhurst Farm. Um, so, farmhouse there, farm buildings, lot smaller, one cow shed only, a couple of storage sheds. Um, actually, there's another one there as well. I didn't see that. The green making it merge into the background. So, there you go. Let's have a little look inside here. I think mostly vehicle storage. It's not. I thought it might be a silage clamp. It is not. Let's wander around here. And again, look at that view across the valley. How nice is that? That is tremendous. Really nice. There we go. Another storage shed. And we do have another. I thought that was a bunker as well, but it's not. It's just a storage spot. Uh, again, lots of stuff, lots of detail, lots of character on the map as well. Really like that. Any cow shed here. So, let's head out of here. Let's keep going up to some of the cell points. Just as we pull away as well, you can see there another little shed across the road. Onto this archway of trees here. Lovely. Some uh, dry stone wall there as well. Very appropriate for this area of the UK. And you've got lots of tracks as well running down the side there to access fields. Um, a lot of the fields are hidden away and you've got to get uh, across fields to get to other fields. Now let's roll into here. We've got um, a debris crusher there for your rocks and a nice touch having a couple of those excavators sitting there let's just close that uh, and this is the moss valley grain merchant so first of your cell points um, this is where you would tip your uh, your grain you can't open those doors so it's just a placeable nice to have a custom logo though always nice to see so there you go unload point just there looks like the bga is sitting behind it as well so you've got a way bridge here BGA with a couple of bunkers behind it, and then your sell point there for your grain. Very nice indeed, like that. Again, just some nice landscaping done here. It's done well, this. I like it. Right, back in the tractor. Let's roll around to here, past this car park, which is a pub and looks like the village bakery there, so you can buy that as a production. Let's wind up the road here. We have another production just here as well, which I will swing into. In fact, this is not a production. This is the shop, and this is important because I really like this. So, look, New Holland dealer. So we'll just reverse the Massey into here, like so, and jump out. We'll head into the shop. Again, I like the fact that we've got tractors lined up. It feels lived in. It's not just an empty building with a tractor logo above the door. It looks like there's equipment here appropriate equipment for the map as well just sitting about which is great new holland flag flying in the wind there so let's head in here have a look inside again nice little area in here now if i go to the shop like so let's buy ourselves a tractor we're not going to buy it but let me show you what happens double click on the fence look at that that is the coolest shop I think I've seen in 22. I know a couple of people did it in 19, and it was great. Nice to see this level of kind of attention to detail going on. Love this a lot. And do you know what's even better? There's my Massey parked over there. Not like it's a, it's a default um, screen. It obviously interacts with what's in the background as well. So I love that. There's something really nice about having that embedded into the map. Uh, and making it feel like it's really part of the map and the immersion. So you're actually buying your tractor from this shop. So cool. Very, very nice indeed. I love that. Really do. Right, enough of that. Let's head out of here. Um, jump back in the Massey. And we'll head up. We've got uh, quite a big garden centre just over the hill there. So we'll have a look at that. So back out here. Uh, again, one of those areas I was talking about. Just here. A bit of wasteland could lend itself to additional productions if you want to add those in there or you could create your own farm here as well which is quite nice um, so yes here 
we have got Moss Valley Garden Centre. Um, loads and loads of greenhouses here. Um, I don't think you can buy them. I think they're just placeables. Uh, but you've got then um, sell points in here as well. So you can get rid of some of your stuff. There we go. Those are great as well. So a couple of sell points there. Looks nice though. I do like that. And then what happens here is basically there's a little bit of a ring road, a bit of a loop. Which you just drive up. I oh, will go round this as well because I want you to see the fields and get a feel for the map from a, a field perspective. But you basically just run all the way around the top of the map. You can probably see that in the bottom corner on the PDA there. It gives you an idea for the size of some of the fields. Even that one there. Field 15. It's a decent sized field. It really is. So we'll head up here. Nice narrow lanes as well. Again, appropriate to the UK. Not everybody's cup of tea. But this is real. This is... I grew up in an area where the roads were this narrow and you had to have your wits about you when there was a tractor coming the other way, so be mindful of that. So around here we come, some nice white picket fencing here next to the dry stone wall. So this suggests we may have another farm up here, and we do. So right tucked in the corner we have another farm. Nice farmhouse, actually this is quite a nice farm. So let's stop, let's jump out here. Let's see what we've got available. So that is a tight gate there. I don't think you'll be going in and out of that very much, will you? Um, we'll maybe go back and have a look through the other gate. There is another... Oh, we've got the main gate here. Let's have a look through that one, shall we? There we go. Lightwood stable. So less of a farm, more of a stables. Although, based on that shed, I think you could definitely use it as a farm as well. Uh, but it looks like we've got horses up here at the top of the map. We've got the nice uh, horse... Um, building there the base game one but you've got lots of storage here as well so again yours to do what you want with really but lovely pasture there for the horses lovely stables for the horses there as well and some big old sheds here um so let's have a look in this one this is a big shed wow there we go we'll just open that up that is huge massive shed there and the other ones that we've just seen so very nice indeed like that balloon way up high in the sky as well Nice. So there you go, that's farm number three. Let's jump back in the tractor. Let's loop back round. This will send us back the way we've come. Um, and then we'll head down to the other corner of the map. So again, just rolling around the side of the hill here, um, you can see the expanse of land. Now, interestingly, the way things are set up, there are some grassed areas on the outside of the map. So, for example, up here, they're not marked as um, land, and you can't buy them. Uh, they're on the border, so you actually own them as you start, um, because the border is owned. Um, so, you might be able to mow those, even though they're not classed as fields, which is quite a nice little extra. Let's roll again around here. And you can see the garden centre and the shop that we've just come from, just down here. And then we'll head back past the main farm. And we'll check out the bottom of the map. Right, as so we just drive down here again, gives you an idea for the lovely uh, border of the map. Everything you can see down there is really, really nice. It stretches far off into the distance, which is great. Definitely gives it a sense of uh, feeling like a bigger map. And just things like the, you know, the, the puddles on the road and... The gateways and things like that just well really nicely detailed like no stone left on turn with this one which is great so we're heading now down into to, i guess to all intents and purposes is moss valley we've got a narrow little tree lined road here lots and lots of trees but lots of character as well i love this with the uh, the fence either side of it as well so you've got to have your wits about you. There we go. And we'll pop out of the bottom here. A nice little pond there. So again, lovely features and detail going around the pond. And a little picnic area there. Very nice. And we'll continue to roll around here like so. Another pond on the other side as well. It's got some real character to it, this. I like it a lot. Very nice indeed. And now here we have... Now a bale sell point just on the corner there. 
And then we have a few more farm buildings and what looks to be potentially a fourth farm. Might just be some buildings though. Again though, you could buy this land and use these if you so wish. I see there's some uh, bees up on the hill there as well. So yeah, there's a farmhouse here and everything you would need. So again, another area that could potentially be used as a starter farm if that's if that's what you like, if that captures your interest. I like that, very nice. We're passing along here through a, to all intents and purposes, a little village there, which is nice. A few houses. Again, more sheds here. No animals on this, but if you wanted to do something like a contracting business, more sheds there. So um, there really is lots of scope to build um, your own farm and your own map and make it your own with this. It's really nicely done. And again, we've got another little pond there so again nice little feature again we're still dropping down the hill it shows you when i when i said there was a valley here we weren't kidding were we it goes keeps going down and down so you're really dropping into the valley we have another cell point here i'm just trying to get my bearings as to what this is and again to give you your bearings we are really tucked down in the bottom corner of the map here so Ridgeway Goods, which is a bit of a catch-all sell point as well, which is good. Um, and we're going to have to turn around here, actually, because we're going to run off the map. And then we'll turn around and we'll head back the other way. And then we'll loop up here. So here we go, past the farm here with the bees in it. We'll loop around here. Again, giving you an idea for some of these fields. Big fields. There are some nice big fields. Keep you occupied. You might need some good horsepower on some of them as well, with the steepness of some of these uh, slopes. But again, something else to keep you on your toes and make you think about. Let's roll around here. Look at that. Look at the size of that grass field. That's huge. But not all the fields are huge as well. We've got some nice small ones for you to deal with as well. So you have got that flexibility, which is nice. There's a field of maize with Benji's maize uh, texture in, which is nice. And we're heading down here. You can start to see the houses down here. Got another little area with a couple more cell points. Uh, and there you go, some nice small fields for you to get started as well. Um, this is the animal dealer here, but again, even behind that, look at the detail of the two excavators. Clearly expanding the animal dealership at the moment. There we go, Moss Valley Livestock. So we've got um, a pickup point there. If you want to buy your animals and haul them across the map. Um, just down here as well, we have a sawmill. So that big valley in the middle, full of those trees. If you feel that way inclined, you want to cut trees down and make some money that way. You've got a nice sawmill here. Very cool. And then we're going to run into a tiny little hamlet or village here. A few houses in here. Oh, there is a cell point in here as well, I believe. There it is. It is That is the dairy, actually. It looks more like a pub. But uh, that is a, an old traditional dairy. Again, buildings, older buildings, pretty standard in this area. And then through a little bit of a town here. Nice houses. Barbecue going there swimming pool a few more houses here as we're running up a bit higher actually the road then loops back down heads back down there out to the animal dealership now what we're going to do uh, I think we're going to double back on ourselves a little bit and take this dirt track up to the top here to the final cell point of the grain elevator there so back past the dairy there and we'll follow this right around the edge of the map up to the top again a few more trees there be a logging empire should you wish to do that but lovely detail again it just feels i don't know real it feels really nice i'm almost tempted to drive down it's only a couple of hours away from me i'm almost tempted to drive down and have a nosy at it so here we are, coming right to the top of the map now. Still on the dirt roads, but we can see the grain 
cell point just up ahead here. And there's the other reason I want to uh, show you this part of the map as well. So there we go. Little road in there and a grain cell point for you in there. But if we go back onto the tarmac road. We can head down here slightly. Just down here, you have the potential again. Lovely big open space here. Should you want to. To start your own farm. Look at that. Look at that predetermined area. Nice wall around it. All of that. You can remove those excavators, I'm sure. And a pile of rubbish over there. Or you can leave them if you want and build around them. But you've got this wonderfully big space here to drop some buildings in and get creative and come up with a, a really nice farm layout. Brilliant. And again, just looking out over the map border there and the, into the distance. Really, really, really well done. This is an absolute gem of a find. I've got to say a huge thank you to VR Modding for sending me this. Um, he, having a look at his Facebook page, doesn't seem to have many followers. Um, he deserves a lot more if this is the standard that he's going to be putting out. I'm blown away by it. I really am. It is super, super impressive. If you like British maps, and I have to say, we have been very lucky in FS22 with the glut of really nice British maps we've had. It was it was very different in 19. We got a lot of US maps, um, and it seems to have shifted in 22 to British maps. Um, but this is this is glorious. This is really, really nice map. Like I said, he's going to release it for PC straight away uh, as soon as it's ready i know he's doing a few little last minute uh, tests and bug fixes and things like that but it's going to be coming out for pc he said he's also going to submit it to the mod hub as well so it's possible it may come to console we shall see how big the challenges are once giants get a hold of it and do some testing on it so uh, keep your fingers crossed and if you want updates and to know what's happening with the map and when it potentially might be released i'm going to put a link to uh, vr modding's facebook page in the links in the description definitely go and give him a like go and give him a follow let's kind of make sure that everybody knows about this map as it goes forward uh, but a beauty really really nice there you go moss valley from vr modding <laughs>